As a filmmaker, Stanley Kubrick is perhaps best known for his wonderful use of cinematography, providing viewers with an unmatched visual feast. Based on a novel by William Makepeace Thackeray and often hailed for its beauty and impeccable image making, Barry Lyndon is one of Kubrick's greatest achievements. Inspired by a scrapbook of 18th century art, Kubrick turned to Thomas Gainsborough, Joshua Reynolds and William Hogarth, among others, to provide an authentic context for the story. Rich in colour and lavish in design, these paintings reflect the manners of the age and provided Kubrick with a detailed window into the past. Kubrick drew from a number of the great artists of the period to dictate the aesthetic of Barry Lyndon. References to the expansive landscapes of John Constable, the equestrian compositions of George Stubbs, and the satirical scenes of Hogarth can all be detected. Indeed, the original story is itself part inspired by Hogarth, with Thackeray concluding his novel with a reference to the artist's loveless marriage series, Mariage à la mode. The film's celebrated use of natural light is similarly influenced by art. Awestruck by the arresting chiaroscuro lighting of Joseph Wright of Derby's candlelit paintings, Kubrick became determined to mirror this effect on film. A stylistic choice that adds to the authenticity of the film's production design, the revolutionary technology required to capture such images broke unprecedented new ground. Overall, the careful painterly compositions that run throughout serve to place us in the position of visitors to an art gallery. Like art objects that demand to be looked at, the scenes of Barry Lyndon seem at first to require nothing more than cool, detached perusal. We approach the images with a disconnected appreciation that reflects both our distance from the past and the artifice of the 18th century. With its static camera work and mannered performances, the film consciously foregrounds painterly qualities. These stylistic choices encourage us to examine the relationship between painting and film and how the visual form relates to Barry's changing circumstances. Beyond its integral role in determining the film's look, artwork also features heavily within the narrative. The possession of art is deemed a key indicator of status, with the acquisition of paintings an essential part of social climbing. Barry's aristocratic ambitions see him waste a fine family fortune on the latest fashions and expensive canvases. His bid to join the cultural elite is destined to fail, though. His spiralling debt's the catalyst for his eventual downfall. Rich in splendour and classical references, Kubrick succeeds in imitating a period of European history with astonishing accuracy. Using art as a touchstone, Kubrick creates a wholly believable world and uses stylistic inventions to ask bigger thematic questions. Intricately designed and sumptuously shot, Barry Lyndon is unquestionably a landmark in costume drama, whose beauty begs to be seen on the big screen.